How's it going, man? Good, Brandon. How you doing? Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man. Good, good to be here. So what's new? You're newly graduated from high school. Uh, you're, you're preparing for uh, East, hopefully for to, to head to Eastern Washington to, to play a fall football season. Uh, what's life like right now? Oh, uh, it's good, man. I've been preparing. Honestly, I've just been preparing for the next level. Uh, been hanging out with a lot of family. Been, uh, I'm about to take a trip out to Utah, see, my, see a lot of my family out there. So just seeing a lot of my family for the last few raw, you know what I mean, some friends. And uh, getting, getting ready, really. Just getting ready. So uh, this is Face to Face. Uh, it's an interview series brought to you uh, by SB Live Sports, SB Live Washington. Uh, the way that it works is anybody tuning in right now, uh, feel free to submit a question in the comments uh, or in, in our question bubble, and we'll get to them at the end of the interview. Um, we're we're going to archive this conversation on uh, on the website, scorebooklive.com slash Washington, where uh, we cover high school sports across the state. So uh, we'll archive it on YouTube as well. So uh, just to introduce you a little bit, Brandon Montoya, you're an eight-time uh, state individual uh, track champion at the 1B level here in Washington. Uh, you are a three-time All-State selection uh, in football, and uh, you're SB Live Washington's 1B Senior Athlete of the Year. It's a story that uh, – a package that – a project we've been working on where we identify uh, the top multi-sport athletes across the state, male and female, and uh, – you won at the 1B level, and the story can be found on the website, scorebookclub.com slash Washington right now. Um, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that, by the way. Big yeah, time. Yeah, big, no, and, and well-deserved, and, and the accolades speak for themselves. Um, like I said, you know, it, it, your senior track season was obviously canceled uh, where you were going to attend uh, three state, state titles. Uh, when that news came down, um, you know, I know that um, you had torn your ACL. Right football season or had you planned to come back for the tr any part of the track season honestly no I, you know I'd, I'd already committed to eastern and stuff like that so i was just preparing to get healthy get healthy as soon you know just get healthy for the football season you know what i mean that was that was my next biggest step in life you know what i mean i i just had to set the track season aside as hard as it was as it was you know uh, i just had to set it aside and uh face face it and uh you know it's time to move on to to my next big thing right now you know did it help knowing that you went out at least in track on, on such a high note? You're yes, just... it, it really did. It really did, to be honest. And it, uh, to be able to accomplish what I've accomplished, it's a really good feeling to me, you know, to, to be able to leave my mark and stuff like that. That's the whole goal of what I wanted to do my whole high school career, you know, make my goal or, you know, make my mark and, uh, you know, big time, you know, set records. That's what I, that's what I try to do, you know. And, and you did it um, at Eastern Washington where the one right. beat. 1A state track meet is every year. Uh, yeah, that's obviously your future home. Do you feel like between that and, and the Eastern football camps that you went to, do you feel like that kind of put you on the map coming from a small town, a small classification? Oh, uh, most definitely. You know, uh, it's just going there, uh, going there at Eastern. I just know I, I had to compete at a high level. You know, I just a lot of eyes there, just a lot of a lot of eyes. You know, so I, every time I know there's a lot of eyes, there's it's time to show out. You know what I mean? So I had to get to work every time I was around there and, you know, just business, really. It's just business. It's an extra motivator when you know that. Yes, big time, big time. Especially when I already had committed, you know, I was already talking to him at the time my, uh, my, my junior year of track, uh, my track season um, at State. You know, I was already talking to him a lot, so I had to, I had to show out for him a lot then. So Lyle Wisham's football team this past fall, uh, you guys reached the 1B quarterfinals. Um, and then you tore your ACL in that game. Uh, right. What's been? I mean, that it's obviously an unceremonious end to your to your high school football season. Uh, your football career is not obviously done. Um, but to that senior season, and and uh, what did you make of kind of everything you guys accomplished that year? You had you know a lot of highs and some lows. And uh, were, were you happy with the way you went out? Uh, I was I was I was really happy, honestly. Um, I feel like we definitely could have went on to the next, probably the semifinals. You know what. We definitely could have went on, you know, but uh, it is what it is. I feel like we had a really good season for what it was. And, uh, you know, just an ACL, it's a big injury, but it's, it's no time to feel down for yourself. You know, you got to get back to work because the next man's coming up and it, you're not making any progress sitting back and just, you know, doing nothing. You know, you got to get back to work. If you don't use it, you lose it, you know. So got to get back to it as soon as possible. The famously strenuous recovery for that type of injury. How are you right now and where are you at with that? I'm I'm doing great, man. I've been I've been I've been doing jogs, 
honestly, I've been firing off my right leg. I've been uh, I've been doing a lot of testing on for with my physical therapist and stuff like that. My my right leg is doing uh, the exact same as my left one, so it's it's everything's doing great. Just ready to be in Eastern's hands and see what they can do with me. You know, can't wait to to yeah be in their hands pretty much. That's something that we talked about earlier this week that you mentioned that stood out to me. So you school obviously is was shut down through the end of the year, and so. Uh, you know, access to the weight room, I would assume, was shut down as well. Um, what was it, what's it been like trying to, you know, not only recover from this injury, but, you know, stay in shape as well, knowing kind of the limited things that you can do? Uh, it's, it's been really hard, you know, especially with no trainers and stuff like that. The motivation is really, it's really up here. A lot of it is just mental. It's self-motivation and it's just got to find it within, you know, getting up every day when you really don't want to work out and you, you got to do it. You got to get to it. Even if it's the littlest things, you know, you, you got to get to it. You single leg stuff, you know, there's no way, uh, you know, no weight rooms, but there's still no excuses to, to not get your to not get your workout in and uh, get your jogs in at least and all this other stuff. So, you know, there's there's other workouts you could be doing, you know, just, you know, just to stay with, uh, you know, up, up to par and stuff. Ways to stay active, ways to stay on your Exactly, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you're, correct me if I'm wrong, I, I believe I read this somewhere, you're going to be a first-generation college student, is that right? Yes, sir. What does that mean to you? Big time, big time. It's just like I, I got to, I got to, you know, follow the, you know, just make my family proud pretty much. Pretty much make my family proud and go on to do big things for for, for my family, you know. just I want to make a big name for myself, my family, for the Montoya name, pretty much. I want you to talk a little bit about your uh, recruitment experience, more so your commitment experience. Yeah. Uh, Eastern Washington initially offered you a 48% scholarship. Um, that was up to 100%, a full ride. Where were you when you found that out? Um, and just walk me through that experience and your reaction. So it was uh, – I had my, uh, my, the, my running back coach from Eastern come out to one of my football games. Uh, it was at uh, Colton, Washington. And uh, it, it was been it was been going on the, the talks about him coming to my football game for like the whole season. You know, I was just like, you know, just getting ready for it. It's a big game. You know, it's just another big game. But going to it, it's just another game for me. You know, it just got it, act like he's not there. Pretty much just another game. And uh, so uh, I it, it uh, had the forty percent at that time. He was there, and uh, you know, I had a really big game. And then after that game, he uh, the coach Best had called me and. Uh, called me up and offered me the, the full ride. And I was in my front room. And it was just me and my mom. My, my dad was at work. And I think it was a – I think it might have been Monday. Honestly, it was, it was after the Friday night football game. And it was that Monday, I'm pretty sure. And uh, he called me up. And, you know, my mom was just bawling her eyes out. I was, I was, I was crying, too. I was just really happy. It was a really good time. Yeah. It's a lot of years building up to that, to that moment. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and full ride scholarships, at, especially at a high FCS uh, level like, you know, like Eastern is, that program, um, you don't really see a ton of that at the 1B level. I mean, Eastern, and, and I saw this in, in their announcement when uh, they announced the recruiting class, announced that you were joining, is that uh, Coach Aaron Best had, had made a, a comment in their release that said, you know, he, we hope that Brandon continues our tradition of, of uh, great eight-man players from the state. All right. You know any of the any of the other eight man players that have? Uh, uh, honestly, hit? no, I really don't. Um, I started off eleven man when I first came into high school. I was at first did the first two years eleven man, and then went eight man. So I, I really been, I, I'm really a big eleven man eleven man fan. And then eight man just it just came it came to like the time where I just had to do it. You know, it was just my junior and senior year, and I knew it was gonna, it was going to be something special doing doing eight man. You know. And uh, my brothers, my brothers uh, have done eight man their high school careers, all their high school careers as well. So, and it's just a big tradition at Lyle. So I knew it was it was going to be a good thing for me, and uh, you know, just blew up my junior my junior year for the for good stats, and then my senior year is just you know, it was just another real good year. Yeah, your your dad Antoine Montoya is the head football coach for Lyle. Right. What's that like playing under your dad? It's actually really cool. It's really cool. He's coached all my brothers. It's, it's amazing, actually, to have my dad by the side the whole time, you know, coming off and scoring a touchdown or something. He's on the side. It's, it's really good motivation. It, keep, it keeps you straight, keeps your head straight, keeps you working. Really, it does. No doubt. No doubt. Do you have a highlight from uh, your high school experience, uh, from your high school uh, playing experience, whether it's, you know, a moment in, in either football or track or, or basketball, which you played for, for um, years that stands out? Uh, 
when I went to the Eastern football camp, Eastern Washington football camp uh, in the summertime, it was a four day camp for the Renegades. It was just a, uh, it was just a team where you all come together for, you know, all different high schools come together to make one team for the, for the weekend and stuff like that to compete with other, other high schools at the camp. And I've never done anything like that, especially with bigger schools playing football, you know, coming from my little school. So it was really cool doing that. And, uh, and showing what I got up there and showing all the coaches and stuff like that. And, you know, seeing, seeing the whole, every, what everything is at Eastern and seeing how it rolls there. It was really cool. That was a really big highlight for me. You went to, uh, you know, obviously a 1B school in, in, in Southern Central Washington on the, on the Oregon border, which meant that, you know, exposure is, it's a little bit different. I mean, obviously, you know, it's with, with huddle, with, with highlight packages, uh, you know, if, if you have talent, coaches are going to find you. Right. Uh, but I, I can't imagine that on a week-to-week -week basis there were college coaches at, at games. And so um, was there ever a thought of going to a bigger school? And, and I know we, we talked a little bit about this earlier in the week. Uh, what was it about your school that stood out to you that, that made you want to stay and really be a big part of the community? Well, it's – honestly, it was really just a lot of, like we – have, we have financial problems, honestly, just financial. It's, it's really hard to move. And – uh Bigger school, it was it really to me, in my heart, I believed in my abilities, what I had. You know, uh, I believed I was a good athlete no matter what school I was going to go to. So I was just getting like, you know, be loyal to my soil. It's going to, I believe, with, with time and with preparation, the, the coaches are going to see it, you know what I mean? So just put in the work, keep my head down, you know, get to work, and uh, paid off, really. It, it, was, it was a big thought for me uh, my, going into my freshman year because – my my parents were a little bit worried about me getting uh getting looks because that was a big thing for, you know big thing for us but you know we never did and uh, I just I just grinded 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 man and grinded my butt off to 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 be where I'm at really. That's a really good message. It must be really validating for you to you know have chosen that route, gone through that experience, and, and to be kind of looking on the other side of it, headed to. Yeah, oh. I just want to I just want to like if I if I ever. Uh, you know, make it, you know, just tell my story is that you can make it from anywhere, you know, it doesn't matter what the injury is. It doesn't matter where you're from. It, you can make it if you want it. You really can. You really can. It's cool. You've already had success at Roos Field um, at, at, in high school track. Uh, what are you most looking forward to uh, headed to Eastern starting your college football career? Just taking advantage of all the things I'm going to be able to, to have up there. You know, everything, uh, just the, the coaches, uh, the tradition, the brotherhood, um, the weight, the weight room, everything, everything, everything is, is times 10 coming from where I'm from, man. It really is. It's, it's a blessing. It's really is. It's crazy. Have you been to a home game up there? I have. I've been to, uh, I've been to one, I think I've been to one and it, it was a blast. It was, it was just this last year. Right on. Okay. So I, I want to ask you about playing high school basketball because uh, you, uh, admittedly are, are not, I mean, basketball is not your primary sport, right? but you played three years, obviously this past year with the ACL injury. Uh, okay. Yeah. Those three years, what was it about basketball uh, that, that led you to keep playing and keep pursuing it as, as a three sport athlete? Pretty much just my competitiveness. Really. I just wanted to, I just wanted to go out there with my friends and just try to try to win my get one games, man, and just compete with my friends and, and uh, it was it was my friends really that got me into it. My parents and uh, it's just about staying active, never being never being uh, never sitting down, always being active, staying staying uh, staying in the gym somehow, you know, just doing something pretty much. Uh, just getting to some of the questions. The one uh, one that came in just just now is one that you've already answered um, from. Uh, CJ Carter, the baller, asks, uh, "What's your biggest memory of high school sports? Is there is there one uh, outside of what you've already talked about that?" That's um, so there's this uh, track meet uh, over here at the Dallas, where it's just literally it's our it's our it's our town road right over here across the river. Uh, this is this is where I was born actually, and uh, so over here we had a track meet, and um, we did, uh, it's a it's a great pit. I'm known to jump really good jumps there, and I. I hit a 24-foot 24, 24 jump there. It was like 24-foot one and something, and I, I beat the the Washington State record for Buda Baker and stuff like that in my class and stuff like that. So that was a really, really big moment for me, and that put me at, like, number four in the country at the time. So that was just – that was big for me. Did you, uh, at the time, know what that mark was and know what you needed to do and 
once you saw, you know, the result of that jump, did you know you had broken it? I didn't know I broke that, but I knew I, I had done something, you know. I, I knew I had done something for, I, I think I might have been a fresh or a freshman or sophomore, some, something like that. So I knew I had so, done something good. Uh, and I, I knew um, looking at the national, the national standings, I knew that the, some people were at like 23, 24, 25. I knew that my, my mark was set up there at the top 10 at least, you know, so that was really cool. That's got to be a good feeling. And, and, you know, earlier on, before you received your, your uh, offer from Eastern, you had heard from, you know, a lot of different uh, big schools uh, for their track and field programs. Right. What was the thought process there? Um, what, what made you want to pursue football, uh, especially given all that interest in track? Uh, it was really just my heart in football. I, I love I just die hard football and uh, the going up to the Eastern football camp. The coaches, so, the coaches that showed me love. It was just it was amazing up there. That just pretty much sealed the deal for me up there when I went up there for the camp and uh, the the track. The track I love track and that was that was definitely. I mean, it was it was the it opened doors for me. It was a, it was a stepping stone for me. It, you know, it was a good confidence booster. It it driven me to, to, to want more. It really did. And, uh, it got me exposure and stuff like that. And, uh, it was going to be a route that I was going to take it if, if, if it came down to it. And I was, you know, if, if it came down to it, it was going to try to do football through it or, you know, just try to do something. But, you know, uh, football, it's just what I love deep down in my heart, man. And, uh, it's the full ride offer spoke to me as well, you know, and uh, right here next to home. And, uh, it was just a good news right, th right there. It just sealed the deal. If there were any coaches that had, uh, after watching your film, any questions uh, about your speed, you could just direct them to athletic.net and, and – <laughs> Yeah. A sprinting record. So, uh, well, Brandon, man, I really appreciate your time. It, it's been great talking to you. And uh, yeah. congratulations on everything that you've accomplished, uh, not only your senior year, but throughout your, your great high school career. And I wish you the best going forward uh, to a great freshman year at Eastern. I appreciate it, Andy. Appreciate that, man. Right on. All right. You take care. You as well. Thanks.